Hey guys, my name is Samuel and you are watching TechnoRide. What's going on guys, welcome to TechnoRide Technology, it is done right. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you on how to fix our Warzone 2.0 crashing, freezing and closing errors. So Warzone has been released in both uh, Battle.net and Steam. So I'm going to teach you on how to fix uh, these problems on both of those clients. So first off, let's start with Battle.net. If you want to see the Steam version, please skip to the time that's shown on the screen right now. So let's get straight into it. So what you're going to do is you're going to open your Battle.net and click on this icon in your Call of Duty Warzone page and click on Show in Explorer. Okay, this will show your game files and you're going to click on Retail right here. Scroll down until you see cod.exe. Right click on it and click on properties. And this window will pop up. In compatibility tab, you're going to make sure disable full screen optimizations and run this program as administrator is checked. And then click on change high DPI settings. Make sure this both is checked. And the first one should be I signed into Windows and second one should be application. So make sure all of this is the same. Click on OK, apply, OK and then you can close out of this and try to play the game and if you're still having issues let's move on to the next step so this uh, step is very simple you're going to click on this option and you're going to click on scan and repair so scan and repair will go through all your all your files it will verify all your files and it will check for any corrupted files to help fix them and it will update the files so after the scan and repair finishes, you can try to play the game. If you still have an issue, then we have to reinstall the game. But uh, I have a different way to reinstall it, which is much more simpler. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this options again. Click show in Explorer and this will show your whole game files, right? So you're going to go back one right here. So this is the directory where your game is installed. You're going to right click on this and you're going to click on rename. And here you're going to rename into uh, something that you prefer. I'm going to rename it to Call of Duty Warzone. Click on enter and click on continue right here. So once your game here is renamed and here nothing has changed. So you're going to click uh, this logo right here and click on exit. And you're going to open up Battle.net again. Let it load. Okay, so you will be landing on this page where Battle.net will uh, show that uh, Call of Duty Warzone play for free. So this is because uh, it doesn't detect where the files are because we have renamed the file. So you're going to click on play for free. Click on start install. Click on yes. And the installation will start. Make sure you allow it to run at least to 0 0.9, 0 0.7. You can see there. Okay, so it's 0 0.9. So we're going to pause it right there. So we're going to pause it and then you're going to open your file explorer. You're going to go into that installed location. So this is where the uh, file that we renamed is and it created another game directory because it's starting to install. What we're going to do is we are going to go into the file that we renamed, copy all of this and right click and cut the files. Go back and paste it in the directory that the game have created now. You're going to highlight all of this or you can do that by Clicking Control A and click on Control V to paste. And then make sure you click on replace the files. So once your files have been replaced, you're going to go back and delete the file that we renamed because all of the contents is already copied into the new folder. Delete that file, close out of the window and click on play to resume the download here. And it will initialize. Click on yes right there and done. So the files have been detected and that should fix your Battle.net um, errors. That should fix most of the errors that, and issues that you were having with the game. So let's move on to Steam right now. Okay guys, so in Steam, um, it's pretty simple as well. You're going to right click here. And then you're going to go into properties okay in properties you're going to go into the local files here and click on verify integrity of game files so what 
this does, it allows to uh, scan all the files, all the game files for any corrupted files and it allows to um, change it, fix it and update it. So if that doesn't work, we are going to do the same thing what we did with Battle.net. So we're going to right click here, manage, browse local files. This opens a window where all the files of the Call of Duty game has been installed. Okay. So what we are going to do here is we're going to go into common right here. You can see here it says common. So we're going to create a new folder called Call of Duty Warzone. Okay, we are still in the common folder here. Yeah? So we're going to right click on the Call of Duty HQ, Call of Duty which, which has all the files that Steam installed. Right click on it, cut it and paste it into the new folder that we have created. Okay, like this. So you don't have the Call of Duty HQ because it's inside the Call of Duty Warzone folder that you just created. So once you've done that, close out of this window, you're gonna right click and click on uninstall. Okay, I've already done it. Uh, my recording software had an issue. So you're gonna right click and click on uninstall. So once you have uninstalled, it will be like this. It will be grayed out. So you're gonna click on install again here. And you're going to install in the same exact uh, location it wanted to install first. Click on next. It will say creating local game files and yeah, finish. So once it's downloading, let it allow it to download a couple MB so the file directories are created well. So we're going to allow it to download to about 70 MB of files. So once it reached 70, I'm going to pause it. Go to right click on it again and click on uninstall. Okay, then if we go back to that location of where uh, the games are installed, okay, guys, so we are in the location so. Uh, once we've installed and uninstalled it, it shows uh, Call of Duty HQ, the folder has been created. So what you're going to do is you're going to write open. So you're going to open the folder that you created and you have the copied file there. You're going to open that. You're going to control A on your keyboard to select all. Control A, right click, cut. You're going to go back and you're going to go into the folder that Steam has created. Open that, right click, paste and allow all the folders to be based. So once that is done, you're going to go back and delete the folder that you have uh, created because all of the contents has already been pasted in Call of Duty HQ. Close out this window and click on install on Steam and click next. You say preparing. And you can see it says discovering existing files for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So you're going to let this run and allow it to get back all of the files. And this will also help you to fix any um, issues with the game. It's basically a reinstallation of the game. So you're going to let this run. Okay guys, so once uh, it's done, you can see that it says uh, Steam has finished downloading Call of Duty Warzone. And yeah, you're done. Basically, you can just click on play and you'll start uh, playing the game like normal and you won't have any issues. So these two uh, methods are known to work. So if you have any other issues, or any other problems, please put them down in the comments below. And if I've helped you, please do click on the thanks button. It will really help support the channel. And yeah, that's about it. So please rate comment and subscribe and I'm out.